Time so we can bring you this We the People special. This program is sponsored in part by Digital, New England Telephone, and Dunkin' Donuts. It is closed captioned for the hearing impaired with funding provided by these companies. Tonight from Faneuil Hall in Boston, it's the Great American Quiz Show. Match wits with an all-star celebrity panel featuring Tony Randall, Barbara Eaton, Isabel Sanford, and Family Ties Mark Price as they test their knowledge of the U.S. Constitution against correct answers given by Ed Asner, Ed Bradley, Larry Darrell and Darrell, Dennis Franz, Rich Little, Tom Boston, Dan Rather, Elena Reed, Jakob Smirnoff, Livingston Taylor, Mishak Taylor, Meredith Vieira. And now, here's your host for the Great American Quiz Show, John Davidson. to the Great American Quiz Show, a series of true and false questions designed to test your knowledge of the U.S. Constitution on this historic date, the 200th anniversary of its signing. We're here tonight to celebrate this glorious document on which our nation is based, as well as have some fun, really, by quizzing you on many of the Constitution's most interesting and least understood facts and interpretations. The rules are so simple, all you have to do is just play along with us at home, guess whether the answers that our celebrities are giving are true or false. For those of you keeping track of your scores at home, give yourselves one point for each correct answer. So without further delay, let's go to our first question, which is about the Bill of Rights. There are 26 amendments to the Constitution. The last one, which was added on July 5th, 1971, guarantees every citizen over 18 the right to vote. True or false? The Bill of Rights is best described as being the first ten amendments to the Constitution. And we start off with the magnificent entertainer, actor, and bon vivant, Tony Randall. Tony, true or false, the Bill of Rights is best described as the first ten commandments of the Constitution. Why is it true? Why is it not? <laughs> Very good. Barbara? You say that is that the Bill of Rights is best described as the first ten commandments of the Constitution. Not yes? commandments. Not, not commandments. <laughs> Did I say commandments? Yes. Yes. <laughs> he said it to me too, but I let it go. Yeah, yeah. the first ten amendments to the Constitution. You that's say that's right. true. Isabel that is Sanford. I can tell you why. Why? Because our forefathers, after they had written the Constitution, decided that uh, personal rights, there weren't enough personal rights delineated, I mean, clearly defined. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Yes. All right. Tony, you hold up your little true there. And, and Isabel, you're true, yes? Yes, I am uh, the same thing. Ditto what Bob was saying. <laughs> yeah. Badly. Finally, from Family Ties, Mark Price, what do you think? I have to go with true as well, because it, uh, it fits it with the cigarette commercial that we're providing here. It's, just... All right. it's, it's not really a question of whether it was personal rights that were being discussed. Yes. That is, giving rights to people as restricting the rights of government over the people. All right, so we all agree it's true. All right, let's see how our American public answered the question. According to the Hearst Corporation, which polled thousands of Americans, 41% thought the answer was true, 51% thought the answer was false, and eight didn't know. Well, to learn the correct answer, let's turn to three New England experts, Larry, Darrell, and Darrell from the Bob Newhart Show. Guys, true or false, the Bill of Rights is the first 10 amendments to the Constitution. That's true. Many states would never have ratified the Constitution had they not been promised the Bill of Rights. These amendments were intended to protect the rights of citizens from the newly strengthened government. Well, thank you, guys. So there you have it. Less than half of the American public uh, knew that the Bill of Rights is indeed the first ten amendments of the Constitution. And I see by everyone here, we all have one point. Give yourselves one point if you said that was true. a good start. We'll be right back after this short break. The people made the Constitution, and the people can unmake it. It is the creation of their own will, and lives only by their will.